Hello everyone, this is Brother Francis again and welcome back to our hashtag Share Your Journey. Today is the feast day of Saint Ignatius of Loyola and this saint is very dear to me because I grew up with this saint. He's the second patron saint of my parish there in Tagulwan. So hello, hello sa mga taga Tagulwan niya. Happy fiesta to all of you. I always sing to prepare for generosity. Every time I'm happy, every time I'm sad, every time I'm in crisis, Every time I feel a very powerful emotion, and if you know the song, please sing with me. It goes like, Dearest Lord, teach me to be generous. Teach me to serve you as I should. To give and not to count the cost. To fight and not to heed the wound. Anyway, this is not a concert. I just want to share to you the church where I went yesterday and it's the Church of Jesu. It's the mother church of the Cheshwitz here in Rome because there lies the tomb of St. Ignatius of Loyola. This church is very interesting. It has a great facade, a very nice facade and I think it introduced Baroque in the architecture. The real name of the church is not the Church of Jesu. It is Santissimo Nome di Gesù or the Most Holy Name of Jesus. In fact, when you go inside the church, at the center, at the main altar of the church, you could see the painting of the presentation of the Lord Jesus Christ in the temple. And uh, it has a lot of frescoes, it has a lot of paintings at the dome of this church is very nice. At the center, there's the top, which represents the Holy Spirit with the angels, Mary, the heavenly team, team heaven. Another interesting thing in this church is the ceiling. It is very nice, as if those are statues but those are just paintings on the ceiling at the center of this painting you could see the letters i h s which is the logo of the jesuits which means jesus ominum salvator which means in english jesus savior of humanity savior of men and on the left side of the church, you could see a cross, a very old cross. It's a 16th century cross made of wood. And actually, where the church is right now, there was an old church, which is dedicated to Our Lady of the Way, where St. Ignatius prayed. Now, at the left side of the altar, we could still see the icon of Our Lady of the Way. And one thing which is very interesting it's the statue of Saint Ignatius behind this painting. So as you can see, there is a painting, but actually behind the painting is a very nice statue made of bronze, and it is gold-plated. Luckily, yesterday was the first Vespers of the Feast of Saint Ignatius. So they exposed the statue of Saint Ignatius. It was preceded by prayers, and chants and biblical readings. As you can see, the painting is going down with music and it reveals the statue behind it. This statue is being exposed not every day, but only on special occasion. In this case, it's the occasion of the feast of St. Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits. So that's it. And there's a lot of things to see in the church I could not make this video too long. This church is very full of artworks. What is important is the legacy the St. Ignatius of Loyola left to us. Firstly, the Jesuits. And secondly, on how we do things. We need to do all things for the greater glory of God. Ad maiorem Dei Gloria. So, please, don't forget, always praise the Lord in everything you do. Goodbye and see you. Ciao!